right, so it's clean the freezer day. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It's been about three years. <laughs> and I do shuffle stuff, so there's not a lot of stuff that gets left in the bottom that gets forgotten and winds up, you know, becoming not unlike the mammoths that the Eskimos <laughs> pulled out of the ice to eat, you know. But that's what I want to remind you, when they pulled the mammoths out of the ice, they didn't go, oh, this is freezer born, let's not eat it. You know, they ate it in there. Yep. So there you go. Um, so what I've got is I've got my old freezer, and I take everything out of I wait till it's a cold enough day that I'm not going to have to sweat my stuff thawing. I take everything out of there, I try to stack it in such a way that when I load it back in, Old stuff's on the top and the newer stuff's on the bottom. Right. I try to do that now so I don't have to do it later. Later. Okay. When I get this done, I'll close the lid. Right. And that should hopefully hold it while I freaking thaw this freezer. But I want you to look. I'm going to close this. Now, there is some paint damage on the front of this. Right. But there's hardly any on the top. Yeah, and this has been a and feed this, freezer. Okay. This freezer was 40 years old when I bought it right. from Doris and Jim Miller um, for 40 bucks. Yeah. And then we used it as a freezer till about 10 years ago. Right. So we had it for I don't know how many years. I don't know. A lot. A lot. We used it at least 20 years. Probably yes, more than probably that. Probably more. Okay. It finally died. Mm -hmm. And we bought this piece of shit. And let me tell you something. It's less than 10 years old. It gets mildew three times as bad. Look at the mildew on that. That son of a bitch is ancient. Yeah, and we don't de okay, mildew it. It's mildew. It stains easier. And the paint is coming off so bad that I'm going to have to sand this down, put a primer on it, and then I'm going to put linoleum on it to protect it. Right. All paint off the bottom. It's just, they it's do not make this shit the way they used to, to. last uh -uh. at all. You want to know why our landfills are full? You want to know why we're swimming in a sea of pollution? This is one of the reasons. Planned obsolescence. Planned obsolescence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not that this hasn't been done for a while, but there's a there's lot of ice There's a lot of ice on there. on there. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are like, well, you have to do it every year. Yeah, you're supposed to. Good luck with that. I say that if you have time to clean your freezer every year, you're obviously not doing any other fucking thing. Because <laughs> to me, that's one of those chores that always gets shuffled to the bottom, as in that can wait. Right. Until it can't. Right. Why can't it wait anymore? Because see this? Yeah, I noticed on this the back, This is keeping too. it from closing the There's way it's supposed to. Too, We're now yeah. losing energy. Mm -hmm. So now it's time. It's got to be clean. Because what am I not doing? I'm not paying for energy that's getting wasted. Right, right. I'm not being part of the problem. So it's time. At the, to a certain point, a certain amount of that ice just means guess what? A certain amount of that ice just means you're not having to use it as much. Because right. the ice is keeping it cold. But right. There's a point at which, but it's like, yeah, and it does things like the old freezer never did, like this compartment will get ice up in it. Yeah. Which, it's, why is it doing that? Why is there ice in that? There shouldn't be ice in uh, that. Uh, uh, uh. But anyway, there you go. But, so that's what I'm doing today. Isn't it exciting? It's a fun thing to Isn't do. Isn't it exciting? I have it. I would have done it months ago, but uh, when so we it's, our it's, first cold thing was when I was going to do it, but I was busy obsessing about the treehouse. Tree house. Well, it is noon-ish right now. Yeah. And it's still cold, so. And it, it is okay. cold. Yeah, it's not a free, it's not as cold as yesterday, which is why we didn't do it yesterday, because it was too damn cold to be it out here. It was too cold to even do it yesterday. Well, first off, it's not going to, even when I, I will stick, what I'm going to do, getting ready to do is stick a heater down in this. Aha. Uh -huh. I will put a little raised area, put it away from where it's going to drip. Mm -hmm. I'll put a bucket in there or something and turn the heater on and take all this shit out and uh, heat it up and, and thaw it. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of crap in here. And it's stuff that we use. I mean, this is stuff that uh, we use every year and it doesn't look like it because it's so deep in there, but we shuffle it. Well, we eat out of the freezer. Nearly every day. Yeah. 
and most of our meals. So, yeah. yeah, it looks like a lot, but yeah, this will all be gone and have all new stuff by next year. So that stuff that's so tightly freezer wrapped is um, yeah, is, is uh, it so it doesn't get wet. Well, it's it's gluten free, uh, kosher for Passover, parav stuff like that that. We only use a certain amount every year, and it can be hard to find. So I stocked Especially up. Especially during the pandemic. Yeah, I stocked up, and so we've got a we've yeah, got a we freezer could. full. Yeah. yeah, we've got a freezer full. I did not know we had that down there. Huh? That one I had forgotten we had down there. The stat. Does it need to go? No, uh, no, no, no. I know what it is, and I know when it got there. I just forgot. It's been a, right. it's been a while since I yeah, put that down. Yeah, it's not my there. favorite thing to do, as you can tell by the fact that I didn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, but you've almost got this empty now. I don't like to do things. I like to do things that are creative mm -hmm. and constructive. Mm -hmm. That when you get done, you go, wow, look what I did. Yeah. Cleaning the freezer is not one of those fucking no, things. No, uh because -uh, you look at it, it goes, oh, that's cleaner. Yesterday, I cleaned the bathroom. And again, it was one of those, oh, it's cleaner. But it also was something I had put off forever. And well, by cleaning, I mean I stripped the caulk and put new caulk in the bathtub. Right, right. It's not just cleaning it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. And she installed a safety bar for me. Yeah. So that I don't take another header. Yeah. So yay. That's good. She's not happy about that, though. No, I'm not. Because I would like to not give in to being old. But there you go. Well, I just don't want to take another header. That's not good. You know, when you see the little handles in somebody's bathroom, you know, oh, there's an old fuck. <laughs> oh, you think immediately, you go, oh, I didn't know they were this old. But they are. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of food in here. And I need to know what I have because I have new stuff in the other freezer at the other place yeah. that needs to go in here and... This stuff needs to go on top of that, which is yep. why I have it over there. And of course, you're pulling out for tonight's dinner, I see. Yeah. I assume. No, no that's no. stuff that I'm going to give to the chickens. Oh, that's too old? It's not too old, but my wife, it turns out, doesn't really like poke salad. And of course, as you know, I put up 30 pints of poke salad last year. My wife doesn't mind it, and your mother loves it. Well, that's okay. I put, there's, and there was an ancient thing of beets from... 16, oh. which you could still eat. Oh, that. yes. You could still eat that. Yes. We might eat it. Yeah, there's nothing tonight. wrong with that. We might eat it. I don't know. And, um, yeah, just, so there's there's that. It's just, uh. No, don't toss the poke salad because of me. That's good, healthy food. Yeah. Yes, do I, do I prefer other greens? Yes, that doesn't mean I hate poke salad. We gotta get all this stuff out of here and get it used. Some of this stuff is verging on the edge. Yeah. So we need to use it like first. So that's another reason to clean the freezer because even shuffling it the way we do, we don't get shuffled as well. That little beep is a thing telling us that the temperature's not right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that fucking little bastard. Shut up, you little bastard. <laughs> You know, like we have brand new turkey broth from Thanksgiving, so we kind of need to use the old shit up. <laughs> so, it's all about shuffling at this point. Yeah, but we've got enough in that freezer to make it through the winter and then some, and especially when you count what's over in the other freezer. Well, this is why when everybody else is freaking out about the shortages and stuff, we're like, well, it's too bad we can't get what we want, but we don't have enough food to last. Yep through the year at least. And this isn't even our dry goods. Oh no. This is just the frozen and stuff. And this is the thing. It's like everybody's like, well, I know there's no need. That's just paranoia. That's just this or that. It's like, really is it paranoia? Is it? Well, for one thing, we aren't spending as much as so many others are. Yeah, right now the price of everything is quadrupled. So even if we could get some of the stuff that we want, I wouldn't want to pay for it. Well, we would have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So, there's that too. And I mean, that's, you know, to a certain extent, it's like, let's, let's, once again, let's use our heads a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of global climate change. Yeah, catastrophic we climate change. We don't know change. what's going to fucking happen. Mm -mm. You know, we really don't. There's a reason that we try to keep 
a bunch of mason jars around just to can with in case the electricity goes out uh -huh. long enough to uh to defrost the freezer to defrost our freezer. yeah i've got enough seals and everything i could um can everything that is pr presently frozen if i had to yeah so yeah yay you know and that's that's basically what you're doing anytime you're doing something like this you're hedging your bets yeah you know i'm not a survivalist as in like this is all that's left of the venison and herbs bone broth that i made last year last year yeah we're down to three containers but I want to use those before I use the, what, how many are we, 30 oh, containers? 30 something, 30 something over there. I can't remember the number now. I don't now. know if we even showed them. When yeah, we, we did. We okay. did. We showed them that and um, did a whole yeah. video on it. Um, and it. But it's over in that other freezer and we yeah, want to use so those I first. Yeah, so I put it in first before I put that in. Right. These are chili beans. Doesn't even have a date on them. But we'll eat them at some point this week. <laughs> so a lot of this stuff we're going to take in and eat this week. And I'll feed this poke salad to the chickens. Um, but the fact that we had 30 pints and that's all we have left is no wonder she's tired of poke salad. <laughs> I need to get this shit out of here if I can. Okay, well, I will, I will turn off and, yeah. and help you. Wait, For anybody who hasn't defrosted their freezer before, you're Wait like, you may be wondering. Wait a minute. Oh, it helps if I open the lens. There we go. There she Damn is. Damn it, Lynn. <laughs> I'm going to keep Damn that. Damn it, that's... Lynn. You can't get good help <laughs> these days. That's funny. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't see. Well, <laughs> good job. Yeah. Good job. And she was teaching your children. <laughs> At any rate, so anybody who hasn't done this before, there's a plug in the bottom. Now, you, some of you know that already because you read the instructions. Me and my son, the genius, we we fail often in the reading the instructions, of the instructions part. part. Yeah. Okay, now I've got, I've got this closed. Yes. So that it hopefully will stay cold. And now I gotta pull this plug out. Okay, right. so the one in the bottom and then the one down out on the there's outside. One on the outside, there's one on the inside. Gotcha. Okay. So now the water has a place to go. Now and this is a shop floor, go. and it can, and you've got all kinds of drainage stuff. So yeah, well, I will it, still be pissed you, off because it'll, it'll wind it'll, up draining underneath my wood pile. So. I know, so you won't love that. No, no, no. But yeah, I need to get. I'm gonna go in. I've got a little heater that we use if it gets really cold in the solarium, and uh -huh. I'm gonna bring it out here. And I'm gonna have to set it up on top of this because because this plastic it won't stuff. Fucking move. Yeah, there's so much ice. Normally we can so get it much out. Ice, it won't fucking move. <laughs> Normally it'll come out, but this year not so much. No, of course not. No, because we wanted to. Well, there was a pandemic last year. Yeah. I was busy freaking out. I didn't have time to <laughs> fuck with the. And, and there... by freaking out, I mean teaching you lovely people. Well, teaching uh, wonderful uh, lessons on survival. On how to survive, not freaking out. Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Okay. Oh yes. That's that is what I was going to do. Thank you, Donald Trump and your followers. Yes, no kidding. At any rate, I'm going to so, go get the heater and I'm going to try that. and See, see if that'll it. work. Also, you can use, you can boil water and put in pots of boiling water. Except some of these freaking things are made out of plastic. In fact, this one might be plastic. No, no it's, I don't know. I can't anyway, tell. I can't it tell. used to be like that one was metal. Uh -huh. So you could just take boiling pots of water and set them in the bottom and walk away. And come back in 30 minutes and all the ice would have fallen off. But I have no idea on this one. I think this might actually be fucking plastic. Plastic coated tell. or something. Who, did, who knows? It's hard to no, tell. No, no, I can't tell. But anyway, I'm just going to go get the heater and put it in there. That sounds good. Is it the best idea in the world? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Yeah, I remembered to open the lens this time. Okay, well, that's good. So it is now shortly after 2 o'clock. I had this for about two hours. Because when I came I out to film... I pulled it out. What you didn't see is I pulled it all the way out. Cleaned the back. Cleaned all the... Oh, all the way in the back here and everything. everything. out. And then I put down a layer of uh, diatomaceous earth underneath it. Yep. Might as well while you have it out. Right. Um... The fucking heater I was using, of course, took a big dump. Of course it did. I've had it for four billion years. How like dare I it? Like I said, they do not make things the way they used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can see, this is what it looks like after I fucking cleaned it yes. and scrubbed it. So I'm going to have to sand it, paint it, do something with it, because it's not going to fucking last. No. 
Why? Because it's a piece of shit to begin with. It's planned obsolescence. This Man, is a heat gun, by the no, way. This is a heat gun. I've never used it before on something like this, so we're about to find out. There we go. We're about to see if it's going to work. Yeah, see if it'll warm up and actually do anything. Well? It seems pretty hot. Watch out, it'll melt the plastic. Yeah, exactly, because it is a... It's not just a hair dryer, it's a... No, it's a heat gun. It's actual heat gun, people, yeah. People know what a heat gun is. I'd rather put the heater in here and walk away, actually. That works better, but all the other heaters I have are too big to stick in here. Yep. So I'm kind of pissed off about that, because I can't tell you why it died. It just did. All of a sudden, it just stopped working. I thought, huh, oh, that feels like it's not working, and it wasn't. Of course. So... I have to change again. A plan again. Yeah. Meanwhile, I think there's still ice in this lid, which I can't put the heat gun on that lid. No. Nope. Because it's fucking plastic and it'll melt. Yep. So, there's that. But, yes, the best way made plans, right? Yeah, exactly. Best laid plans. You have plans, you got, you got it. This is why you put off shit like this. Yeah, because it's such a pain. Because it never turns out to be simple. It always turns into a ginormous clusterfuck. Yep. So, there's that. Okay, well, I'm going to go away for a minute and see about getting you some lunch. Okay. Okay. It is three o'clock. You've been at this approximately three hours. Yay! My favorite thing. Yep. Okay, so I've got. I was able to get. Finally, we got enough ice out that we could get these out, and then I yes. put the big heater in there. Right. So I got the big heater going. I would close the lid at least part way. Yes. But I can't because when I do this drip. Yeah. Can you show them that drip? Yeah, I can. I'm pretty when sure. When the minute I it drips in and it goes in the freezer, which I just got dry. Yep, exactly. Okay. That's see dripping that? out of the lid. See that? Okay, you can see all this condensation? Yep. The lid is full of ice. Why? I don't get it's it. It's not supposed to do that. But the lid is full of ice. You hear it? Yep. Yep. It's shifting. Yep. So... I could put my frozen food back in there, which is, you know, I'd like to do that before it thaws. But I have to wait for the damn thing to... Completely defrost, or defrost. else why did you do this? Yeah. Exactly. What is the point if, yeah, if it's if not there's defrosted? there's still ice... Dripping. ...in the fucking... And you can see it's just drip, drip, dripping yep, out of the It is drip, drip, dripping out of the corner. Thing. It is so, ridiculous. Yeah. So, so lesson to lesson learned. If you can get an old one, get an old one. Yes, get an old one, an old used we one. We didn't have trouble with our old one until it just died one day. Yeah, then it did just give it, up. It was easy to clean. It was easy to take care of. Yeah, it didn't. And get for those who are screaming, why don't you have a frost-free freezer? Because frost-free freezers thaw part of your food out and you can't keep food as long as in a frost free. Yeah. A frost free will not keep food as long. So there's that. Yay. Do not do this at home unless you know what you're doing because hello. But the inside is metal, I yeah. think. I'm still not 100% sure. I don't want to take my pocket knife to it, which is what I know it's plastic. It's hard to tell. It's good hard plastic, but that's not helpful yeah. because it will melt. This is cheap-ass plastic. Here. Yes, it is on well, the lid. Let me show you something. Look at this. Look yeah. how when I do this, how this whipples. Yeah. Okay. Come here. Look at this. This ancient one? See this? Yeah. See what happens when you push on this? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So... What's my point? My point is we need to start bitching to these fucking corporations that keep screwing us over and fucking the planet by making half-assed shit. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Okay, I'll come back when you have got it refilled or sometime in between. Yeah. Yay. Pain in the ass. And why does it keep... I don't know. 
Well, because it's still getting it's still getting there. It's not cold enough yet. Is it gonna get cold enough? Yeah. Is that all you had to do to get it to shut up? Mm-hmm. When you looked at it before, you couldn't get it to shut up because it, it wasn't doing that. Fucking nuts! It, that that wasn't there. Now it works. Okay. Okay, so you've got it full now? Okay, let me tell you something. Those electronic beep, 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 beep. I wanted to fucking put an ice pick through my brain. Yeah, I know. I hate but those things. But on top of that, nothing wanted to fit back in here. Yeah, it's like that hole, you know, that you dug. Well, what happened was... We had brought all I the stuff. I had not moved one of the things over one notch, is, oh, which is why the milk wouldn't fit. Okay. But the chicken, I had so much trouble getting the chicken in. Uh-huh. Because when I put it in here... It wasn't frozen. frozen. Of course. So it was like cordwood this time. And it, was, it was like hard. when I was putting it in here, it folded up naturally and less fit in. Yes. More mm -hmm. fit in more, less more space. space. Yes, of course. But I got it all back in there. Yay. This would be why it only gets done every three fucking years. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. Of course, not everybody has a second old freezer they can put everything in, but... It doesn't matter. No. It's, well, you, if you have ice chests, you can do you the can same, do same thing. thing. Okay, most people, let's be honest, most people do this thing, they can afford to do this thing, where they just empty their freezer out till it's basically empty, mm -hmm. and then they clean it and they throw away whatever's left in there. If they don't want it or don't, can't use it. I yeah, can't exactly. afford to uh -uh. fucking do that. Uh -uh. We we'll uh -uh. eat out of that freezer all the time all year so yes yes 12 months yeah so it's a pain in the ass but this is you normally keep feed in this i normally keep feeding it i gotta put the feed back in it actually. yep okay well yeah see this was a day where i started the day was pulling all this what do i have in this okay so this key is a waterproof <laughs> mouse proof storage bin right it used to be our old freezer. Right. It has served us well. Yes. And continues to serve us well. Okay. So what do I keep in here? I keep feed in here, but I also keep emergency stuff you wouldn't think about maybe that needs to be in a perfectly dry, mice can't get to it thing, which is I keep ice melt. Oh, yes. I keep ice melt in here just in case. In case we you ever have lots of ice. We've had in the cut last couple of years. We've had to use it. There's see, that's only part of bag because we used the rest of it. Okay, but it's a partial bag, and here how it's still. Yeah, it's still loose yeah. because it's in it's moisture loose proof. It's being kept in a moisture proof. Place. Right. I also keep things like you wouldn't think of, but that you might need because let's face it. I wanted to do yes, that. Yes, exactly. Yet, yeah. whoa. Okay. <laughs> I also keep things like. Grass seed. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. I keep grass seed because you never know what, with the climate change, you never know what's going to freaking happen. And sometimes, let's face it, as a homeowner, even if you don't have a farm, sometimes you have patches where the grass doesn't come up. Well, and anymore. yes, you can't always get seed either. Yeah. So, and this, I keep in deep storage. And I try to forget that I need it. But then, of course, if I ever really do need it, I'll probably forget I need it, too. But it's wrapped up, and it's salt blocks. Oh, okay, yes. It's two salt blocks that I double-wrapped in plastic that I keep in here in case you can't get salt. Yep. Either for ourselves or for the animals. Because guess what? You can eat mineral salt. It will not hurt you. And these are the feed bags that are open. And now we put the feed bag in here and... You hear that rattling? That's our dogs telling us it's time for them to be fed. That's our dogs saying, I know you're in there. Yeah. Come out with your hands up. Yeah, hands full. Yeah. Come <laughs> out with your hands up. <laughs> but yeah, I can keep... If I had to, too, I've thought about that. It's like if I had to, I could just take it out of the bags and fill it up and, you know, right. and well, not and we, have different kinds. Just guess what, dogs, you're going to eat eggs and everybody else is going to eat goat chow. Right. Well, we've also t taken the feed out when we had a huge event and we had to have a really big... Big cooler. Big cooler, and yeah. And just put about... 
200 pounds of ice in there and yep. used it as a cooler all weekend. We've and tried. it worked wonderfully. Just put the salads and yeah. everything on top of it and it keeps. It's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. that's... A wonderful day. Not and from beginning okay, to end. This is the kind of thing that people don't fucking think about when they're doing their homestead adventure shit. Mm -hmm. All of this shit is part of it. Yes. It all has to get done or nothing works. And that was uh, basically almost five full fun hours. Yeah. Exactly. Yay. Yay. Yeah. yeah, it's like my entire day got wasted doing it. Yeah. I didn't accomplish another fucking thing today. And I was super frustrated and pissed off all day. Yay. So that's always a plus, you know. Yeah. But welcome to homesteading. <laughs> Welcome to homesteading, people. That's what it's all about. We'll tell everybody bye. Bye.